Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Birch clustering algorithm with the help of a simple solved example. In the previous video, I have discussed different steps in Birch clustering algorithm. Link for that video is given in the description below. Birch stands for Balanced Iterative Reducing and Clustering Using Hierarchies. It is an unsupervised data mining algorithm used to perform hierarchical clustering over the given data set. Usually, whenever we have been given a large data set, uh, we use a Birch clustering algorithm to divide the given data into multiple number of groups here. In this case, we have been given 10 data points with uh, two components in each data point. We need to apply the Birch clustering algorithm on the given data set with the threshold as 1.5 and the maximum branch is equal to 2 here. In Birch clustering algorithm, we need to consider each data point and then we need to calculate the radius as well as the cluster feature here. First, we will consider the first data point that is 3,4 here. As there is only one data point in feature map, the radius is equal to 0 here. Now, we need to calculate the cluster feature. Cluster feature is a triplet consisting of N, LS and SS here, where N is the number of data points under consideration. Right now, we have considered only one data point. That's the reason n is equal to 1 here. ls is nothing but the sum of point under consideration. That is nothing but a linear sum here. So, right now, again, we have only one data point. So, ls is equal to 3, 4 here. ss is nothing but the squared sum of data point under consideration. Right now, we have considered only one data point. So, squared uh, sum is nothing but a 3 into 3, 4 into 4, which is equal to 9, 16 here. Now, our uh, cluster feature 1 will become something like this. N is replaced with 1 here, LS is replaced with 3,4 and SS is replaced with 9,16 in this case. Now, we need to create a tree with CF1 as the root node and X1 as a leaf node here. After creating a tree, it looks something like this. Now, we have done with the first data point. Now, we will go with the second data point that is X2 is equal to 2,6 here. Now, uh, once you consider x2 is equal to 2, 6, we need to calculate the linear sum that is nothing but ls. So, the previous linear sum is 3, 4. That is what I have considered here. The current data point is 2, 6. Once you add these two data points, you will get 5, 10 here. Now, the squared sum ss is equal to previous uh, squared sum is 9, 16 here. So, first I have considered 9 here. 9 plus the current data point uh, first component is 2 here. That is 2 square. So, 9 plus 2 square, second component is 16, 16 plus 6 square which is equal to 52 here. So, we have calculated linear sum as well as the squared sum here and n is equal to 2 because we have two data points right now. Now, once you calculate these two things, we need to calculate the radius. Previously, there was only one data point, that's the reason radius was 0. Now, there are two data points are there, so we need to calculate the radius here. So, radius is always equal to square root of SS that is the square sum minus LS square that is the linear sum bracket square divided by N and whole divided by N here. Again, we know all these particular values here. We will put in this equation that is 13, 52 minus 5, 10 bracket square divided by 2 whole divided by 2 here. Now, once you simplify this thing, you will get 0 0.5, as the radius in this case. Now, we have been given a threshold is equal to 1.5. So, whatever the radius we calculate, it should be less than this threshold. If that is the case, we will put into that particular uh, leaf node here. Now, the current calculated radius is less than uh, this uh, threshold here. So, that's the reason we will add this x2 to this current uh, leaf node here. Once you add it, uh, it will look something like this. So, there are two data points are there right now. And the current uh, linear sum is equal to 5, comma 10. And current squared sum is equal to 13,52 and there are two data points in this leaf node here. Now, we will consider the third data point that is 4,5 here. Again, we need to calculate the linear sum. Previous uh, uh, linear sum is 5,10. To that linear sum, we will add the current uh, uh, data point. We will get 9,15 here. Previous uh, squared sum is 13,52. To this 13, we will add 4 square. To so this 52, we will add uh, uh, 5 square, you will get 29,77 and the value of n is equal to 3 here because there are 3 data points under consideration. Again, we need to use this equation that is our uh, radius equation to calculate the radius. 
again we know all these values we will put it here once you put the values uh, you will get the radius is equal to 0.47 uh, 0.4714 here again these two values are less than the threshold value because uh, these are less than the threshold value we need to put this x3 into the same leaf node here that is uh, with respect to x1 and x2 we need to put x3 also here so once you put it you will get three data points the current uh, linear sum is equal to 9 comma 15 current uh, squared sum is equal to 29 comma 77 and there are three data points in the leaf node here now we will continue with the fourth data point that is uh, x4 is equal to 4 comma 7 here again we need to calculate the linear sum linear sum is nothing but the previous linear sum plus the current data point which is equal to 13 comma 22 here squared sum is equal to previous uh, squared plus the current data point square here that is 29 plus 4 square because 4 we have here 77 plus 7 square it is be equal to 45 comma 126 here the number of data points under consideration are 4 here and the radius is equal to 0 0.41 0 0.55 here now again this radius is less than the current threshold that is 1.5 because of that we need to add this x4 into the current leaf node and uh, the current uh, cluster feature will become four data points the current linear sum and current squared sum were added here and there are four data points in this case similarly we will consider the fifth data point we will calculate the linear sum which is equal to 16,30 here and the squared sum is equal to 54, 190 in this case the number of data points under consideration are 5 here the radius we will get 0.33 comma 0.63 again it is less than the threshold so because of that we will put x5 into the current leaf node and the current uh, cluster feature will be changed something like this now we will move on to the next data point that is x6 is equal to 6 comma 2 here Again, the linear sum is equal to previous uh, uh, linear sum that is 16 comma 30 plus 6 comma 2 which is equal to 22 comma 32 here. Squared sum is equal to 54 comma uh, 190 previous one. To that one we will add 6, 6 square com and 2 square here. We will get 90 comma 194 here. Number of data points under consideration are 6 here. Again, we will use the same equation to calculate the radius. Once I put all these values in this uh, radius equation, I will get 1.24 comma 1.97 in this case. Now, if you compare these two things, the first one is less than the threshold value, that is less than 1.5. But this 1.7 is not less than 1.5 because of that, uh, this radius is not less than the current threshold here. So, this is uh, a false in this case. Because of that, we cannot add x6 to this uh, leaf node. What we need to do is we need to create one more. Uh, a leaf node and then we need to add this uh, x6 into that particular leaf node here and this cf1 will not change that is the current cluster feature will not change uh, that will remains as it is we will get one more cluster feature with one data point because there will be only one data point in the another leaf that is x6 and uh, linear sum is equal to how much the same data point that is 6 comma 2 and 6 square comma 4 uh, 2 square is nothing but the squared sum here that is 36 comma 4 in this case so we have added uh, two uh, cluster features there is one leaf consisting of five data points another leaf consisting of one data point here now we will move on to the next uh, data point that is x7 which is equal to 7 comma 2 here now there is one more uh, extra step we need to add here because x7 is the data point uh, we need to consider uh, cf1 and cf2 and then we need to check whether x7 is near to cf1 or cf2 based on that we need to calculate the linear sum and uh, the squared sum here to check whether uh, x7 is near to cf1 or cf2 we will use this equation the equation is uh, cf1 is equal to ls divided by n ls is known to us that is uh, 16 comma 30 divided by 5 which is equal to 16 by 5 is equal to 3.2 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6 here because n is equal to 5 th there are 5 data points are there in this uh, cf1 cf2 is equal to ls divided by n again ls is 6 comma 2 and there are only one data points in this uh, uh, cf2 so 6 comma 2 is the distance here and once you compare 7 comma 2 against these two cf1 uh, i think it is near to this one 6 comma 2 here so because of that what we do is uh, we will uh, calculate the linear sum and squared sum with respect to cf2 here 
So that is what I have done here. The linear sum is equal to previous linear sum that is 6, 2 plus 7, 2 is the current data point which is equal to 13, 4 here. The squared sum is equal to previous one is 36, 4. To that I am going to add 7 square and 2 square. You will get 85, 8 here. Now the number of data points under consideration are previously there was only one data point in this cluster feature. Now we have two data points here. Now we need to calculate the radius here. So once I put all these values, uh, uh, I will get 0 0.5,0 as the radius here, which is less than the threshold. The meaning of this one is, this X7 should be added to the current leaf. Uh, right now we have only one uh, data point that is X6. Now I will add X7 also. We will be getting uh, X6 and X7 in this leaf. And the current uh, cluster feature 2 is equal to, there are two data points are there. Current linear sum is 13,4. And current squared sum is equal to 85,8 8 here. Now I will move on to x8 here. x8 is equal to 7,4. Again, uh, there are two uh, leaf nodes are there or the two cluster features are there. We need to check uh, whether x8 is near to the CF1 or CF2. Uh, again, we have not done any changes to this uh, uh, cluster feature 1. We will be getting uh, CF1 is equal to 3,2,6 only. CF2 is equal to LS divided by N. LS is 13,4 here. Divided by 2 is 6.5,2 here. Again, if you compare this 7,4, this is more nearer to this CF2. That's the reason, again, we need to calculate a linear sum and squared sum considering a CF2 here. Again, the linear sum is equal to previous linear sum plus current data point, which is equal to 20,8. Squared sum is equal to previous squared sum plus uh, 7 square plus uh, 4 square, which is equal to 134,24. Number of data points under consideration are 3 here. The radius is equal to 0 0.47, uh, 0.94 in this case. Again, both of them are less than 1.5. So, we will add x8 to this uh, second leaf or the second cluster feature in this case. After this, uh, there are 3 uh, data points are uh, there in this uh, cluster feature too. And this is the modified cluster feature here. We will move on to the uh, next data point that is uh, x9 is equal to 8,4. Again, we will apply the same uh, technique here. Uh, CF1 is equal to again 3.2,6 here. CF2 is equal to that is the dis uh, distance or the radius you can say, which is equal to 6.6 here. Again, this uh, data point is more nearer to this one. Again, we need to calculate the linear sum and the squared sum considering CF2 here. The linear sum uh, is uh, 28,12 here and the squared sum is equal to 198,40 here. The number of data points are 4 uh, and the radius is equal to 0.7,1 here. Now, once you compare this one with the threshold, again it is less than the threshold. So, we will add X9 to this uh, uh, CF2 here. Uh, it will look something like this. Again, uh, CF2 is modified in this case. Now, I will move on to the last data point that is X10 is equal to 7,9 here. Again, we need to check whether it is nearer to CF1 or CF2 by calculating the leaf radius. That is CF1 is equal to 3.2,6 here. CF2 is equal to 7,3. Again, this one is more nearer to 7,3. So, we have to calculate uh, the linear sum and the squared sum uh, by considering CF2 here. The linear sum uh, in this case is previous linear sum plus the current data point which is equal to 35,21. Squared sum is equal to previous squared sum plus uh, 7 square plus uh, 9 square which is equal to 247,121. The number of data points under consideration are 5 here. Now, if you calculate the radius, uh, we are getting 0.63 comma 2.56 here. 0.63 is less than 1.5, but uh, 2.56 is not less than 1.5. The meaning of this one is, this data point does not belong to CF2 here. Now, what we need to do is, we need to create one more leaf node and then we have to add it here. But if I create one more leaf node, I will be getting uh, three leaf nodes for this particular uh, root here. But what is the maximum branch we can have? We can have maximum two branches. We cannot add one more leaf node here. So, that's the reason what we do here is, we will merge the current uh, cluster feature 1 and cluster feature 2 into one cluster feature and then we will create a root node, something like this. 
that is the cluster feature 1 to is equal to there are 5 data points in first one 4 in second one so total data points are 9 here we need to add the uh, linear sum which is equal to 44 comma 42 similarly we have to add the squared sum you will get 252 comma 230 here this will become your root node for that this will be the uh, uh, branch here so that is what you can notice this one i am talking this side uh, what we have calculated till now in this leaf node we have added the next cluster feature that is cf3 uh, there is one branch is created uh, that cf3 is so and so and then we have added a leaf node over here now we have done with all uh, 10 data points if you notice the leaf node we have uh, three leaf nodes the meaning is there are three clusters are there so this is how we can apply the birch clustering algorithm to the given data points so that we can divide the data points into multiple number of clusters here I hope the concept of uh, Burge clustering algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.